Hi everyone and welcome back to our English. Today we're going to talk a little bit more about Superworm and we're going to think about sequencing the story. Hopefully you've been on the YouTube channel and you've watched the story of Superworm so you could do your jobs yesterday. But have another watch of that video, make sure you know the story really well because we need to make sure we know the exact order of all the things that happen in the story for today's session. So go back to our YouTube playlist and find that Superworm video and you can watch it and then get on with today's jobs. So today we're thinking about ordering these pictures, ordering the different parts of the story. So I've just taken little snapshots of different parts of the story and put the pictures onto your worksheet. It's in your pack if you want to have a look at it. What you need to do is decide which one of these pictures comes first in the story. The first picture that we've got here is a picture of the lizard and his servant and he's holding that magical flower and he's telling Superworm that he wants him to go and find the treasure in the soil. Does that happen at the beginning? Does it happen in the middle? Does it happen at the end? You've got to decide where that goes. The next picture along shows the lizard has been caught and looks like he's been taken off to the rubbish dump. Does that happen before he tells Superworm what he wants him to do or after? You will have to decide so you can put the pictures in the right order. The next picture is a picture of Superworm introducing who Superworm is. Do we introduce the main character at the beginning of the story, in the middle of the story or at the end of the story? You'll have to think about where he might go in the story and decide if he's going to come before the other pictures you've seen or after. The next picture looks like Superworm is being used as a fishing line. When does he need to be used as a fishing line? Is that before he gets captured by the lizard? Or is it after? You'll have to decide so you can put the story into the right order. And then the last picture is of Superworm helping out all of his friends. Does he help out all these friends at the beginning of the story? in the middle of the story or at the end of the story. If you remember our story mountain, we often start with introducing the character and the setting. Then we get to the top of our mountain and we have a bit of a problem, unfortunately. Then we have to solve the problem and then we find out what happens finally. Maybe if you use those ideas when you're trying to put them in the right order, that might help. You could also watch the video back again and you could watch out for these pictures and these pages and decide which one comes first and which one comes next. So this is what your sheet looks like today. What you need to do is cut out the different pictures and then put them into the right order. So just stick them in the boxes so that they're in the right order. All you need to do is put them in the right order. You don't need to do anything else today. Once you've done that, your job is done and we'll come back for another job tomorrow.